All right, hello. This is another intermediate tutorial on inserting. Um, this is another makeup tutorial from my last ones. So we will go over a few different ways of inserting. We're going to be inserting into table two here uh, on names and counters. And the name has a unique um, index on it. So we won't be able to make more than one name. And you'll see that uh, soon. So we already have one in here, Brent and five in the counter. So we'll go with our basic insert statement. We'll say uh, insert into table two. Uh, we're going to do name and counter values. We're going to do Daniel and three. And after that, we'll also do another one. We'll do Mima and 10. So we'll run this, and it works fine. Two rows affected, and you will see in here, there they are, 3 and 10. So if I were to try to run this a second time, it's going to give me an error, say duplicate key entry. So I can't do a duplicate. So what if we know there's a duplicate in our list of things we're inserting, and we want to just surpass it and forget about it? Well, all we have to do is instead of saying insert into, into, we can say insert ignore. And it'll ignore all duplicates. So if I were to add another name here and say Ferris and pass it a counter of nine and run this, I will not get an error and you will see one row affected. So inside of the data, when we refresh, you'll see that Ferris is now in there and uh, all the rest, we didn't have any errors. So here comes our third thing. Maybe we want to insert. We know there's duplicates, but we want to alter the information that's already there to fit our new pieces of information. So rather than saying insert, ignore, insert into, we're going to say replace into. And that'll replace the old values with the new values. And um, I believe it gives it a, a new ID and an auto increment as well, because it gets rid of the old one. So if I were to change Danielle to be uh, equal to 9 and Meemaw equal to 20 and Ferris equal to 99 and do this, you'll see 6 rows affected. 6, you did only 3. Well, 6 because it deleted 3 and then it inserted 3 new ones in their places. So if we go back, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4. If I replace, we have 1, 5, 6, 7 and with the new values. So you can see that it's a little iffy because all your indexes, your IDs will jump around. But if that's not a problem, then replace into will work pretty well. Otherwise, you'll just need to update it. Um, replace into will also allow you to insert extra new ones. Uh, obviously, you would want to do an update statement for that last one that I did. But if you want to insert a new one like uh, Jones and uh, one, and I do replace into, it's going to have seven rows affected. Deleted three, inserted four. So now those numbers keep jumping up. One, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and Jones is inserted now. So that's mainly what you're going to have a replace into for is if you're adding some other stuff, but you want to get rid of all the old ones and you don't care about your ID. So uh, that's the uh, intermediate insert into uh, or inserts for uh, MySQL.